Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I've been wanting to do this video as a video response to Renetto's video and Corey, Mr. Safety's video on ADD. Uh, before I really get too into it, I want to tell you about something I just started learning about, and that is the effects of, or the uh, how food allergies affect the symptoms or bring on the symptoms of ADD and ADHD. Um, there's so much information on this, and I'm just, I just started to scratch the surface. I'm going to throw some links up, link up, links up on, the, on the side so you can you know, kind of do your own due diligence. But if you have ADD or ADHD, or especially if you have a child that's diagnosed with ADD, you definitely owe it to yourself to uh, do as much research on this as, as you possibly can. You have to find, find a doctor that's going to test you for food allergies. And from what I understand so far, that that's not always an easy thing to do because um, a traditional allergist or, and, and doctors don't believe there's any such thing as food allergies. Now, you might ask yourself, why would a doctor be so closed-minded to something that's already been proven? You can research this for five minutes and come up with you know, plenty of uh, evidence that uh, suggests that food allergies and food sensitivities uh, affect and bring on the uh, bring on ADD and, and the symptoms of ADD and ADHD um, but I don't have to tell you how big the pharmaceutical industry is and obviously if these allergies and sensitivities exist then the symptoms of not only ADD and ADHD but a lot of other ailments can be treated with just an adjustment in your diet and not with expensive medications. This is alternative. This is alternative medicine, so you're going to need to find a doctor that's going to give you the correct test um, and, and knows that food allergies and sensitivities do exist. And, uh, you know, a traditional allergist or a doctor is going to laugh at you if you ask for a, a specific test. And I'm, I don't remember what the name of the test is, but um, I'll, like I said, I'll put some more information up on the side. All right, so anyway. Um, what I want to do is try and give you an idea of what it's like to be in my head on any given day and try and give you an idea of what it's like uh, for somebody with ADD. Um, hopefully this will give you just a, a little bit of, of insight of what it is we have to deal with. So check this out. Call attorney at 12 o'clock. Drop off contracts. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to open house at 2 o'clock. Email agreement to Mr. Chase. Call attorney at 12 o'clock. Drop off contract. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to open house at 2 o'clock. Email agreement to Mr. Chase. Call attorney at 12 o'clock. Drop off contract. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make appointment with accountant. Make appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to open house at two o'clock. Email agreement to Mr. Chase. Call attorney at twelve o'clock. Drop off contract. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to open house at two o'clock. Email agreement to Mr. Chase. Call attorney at twelve o'clock. Drop off contract. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make an appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to open house at two o'clock. Email agreement to Mr. Chase. Call attorney at twelve o'clock. Drop off contract. Go to the bank. Put up signs at new listing. Make appointment with accountant. Update website. Go to the open house at two o'clock. Email. Call attorney, call the attorney. I forgot to call the attorney. So as you can see, that's a lot to deal with, and um, obviously it's 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 pretty hard to function sometimes. So as a result of all this bombardment of of information and thoughts and and uh, the stress of of uh, everything that needs to get done, as a result, sometimes nothing gets done. So with all that said, um, and as difficult as that can be sometimes, I certainly would never trade that for the effects that medication has on you. I've tried medication. Um, I was on something for, for about a month, and it does the job it's supposed to do. It, it helps you focus. It helps you accomplish more things. It helps you be more productive. But it changes you. It changes your personality. Um, my ADD is like half of who I am, um, so I, I I wouldn't want to trade my personality or my creativity, uh, which is you know kind of a result of of ADD for you know 
everything else that comes along with all the medication. You know, I kind of feel that you're given a certain genetic makeup, and that's kind of what you're you're supposed to work with. And you can't take, uh, you know, one element of, of your genetic makeup and, and kind of tweak it and bend it and twist it without it affecting everything else. So that's, that's what happens when you try and take a medication to fix one thing. It ends up screwing up a lot of other things. It's better to try and find a natural way to do that. And so that's, that's why I started researching, you know, alternative medicines. A conservative estimate is that about 70% of people who are diagnosed with ADD uh, could better the situation, if not eliminate it, by eliminating something in their diet that they're reacting to. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty powerful. And uh, it's definitely worth looking into a lot more. All right, so I guess, uh, I guess I've talked long enough on it. Um, I could probably cover another hour on medications alone, but... I'll leave it at that for now, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.